Og and food waste from wastewater discharged from food service establishments until they can be removed and disposed by waste hauling. How do you size a grease interceptor? To size a gravity grease interceptor with the flow determined in GPM you simply multiply the flow number by a detention time. 30 minutes, the time period normally accepted for the grease to separate by buoyancy. Again with our 20 GPM example, the size would be 20x30 equals 600. A 600 gallon size interceptor would be used. What is the minimum size of a grease interceptor? The minimum size interceptor is 500 gallons. The maximum size is 2,500 gallons. No toilets, urinals, lavatories, hand sinks, or other similar sanitary fixtures shall be discharged into a grease interceptor. How do you calculate the flow rate of a grease interceptor? Grease trap sizing calculator GPM by 0.75 equals GPM x2 equals flow rate capacity LBS. What is the maximum rate of flow through a grease trap? 20 gallons per minute grease trap sizing using gravity flow rates according to the Uniform Plumbing Code. The maximum flow rate for a waste diameter pipe is 20 gallons per minute GMP. How many fixtures is the maximum capacity of grease trap? Not to exceed four, four separate fixtures shall be connected to or discharged into any one grease trap or interceptor. What is the difference between a hydromechanical grease interceptor and a gravity grease interceptor? Hydromechanical grease interceptors, HGI or TRAP, are smaller devices that can be installed above or below ground, as well as outside or inside of a facility. Gravity grease interceptors, GGIs, are larger in ground tanks typically installed outside the facility. How many gallons does a grease trap hold? Summing up to a total of approximately 50 gallons. The applicable grease trap for a 1 minute drain period will then be a 50 GPM grease trap and 25 GPM for a 2 minute drain period. How to size your grease trap explanatory note. This method uses total combined fixture capacity to define an actual maximum drainage load, which is in turn used to define the flow rating of the interceptor required for the application typically up to 100 GPM. 1. Measure your sinks. Calculate the capacity of the sink in cubic inches by multiplying length by width by depth. If you have multiple compartments or sinks, add the capacity of sinks together to find total cubic inches. Blank, x blank, x blank equals blank, cubic inches length x width x depth 2. Convert the capacity from total cubic inches to gallons per minute GPM by dividing by 231. Blank, cubic inches divided by 231 equals blank, GPM 3. Adjust for displacement. Displacement takes into consideration the actual usable capacity of your sink. Blank GPM by 0.75 equals blank GPM actual drainage load for sinks 4. Add any additional appliances. Optional note, dishwashers can be connected to a grease trap only if allowed by local code. Each dishwasher will require a separate grease trap. For floor drains and floor sinks take the volume of water produced by the number of hose bibs, i.e. 1.5 to 2.0 GPM per 3 quarters inch faucet. Blank plus blank, actual drainage load for sinks plus other appliances and sinks 5. Determine the flow rate and drainage period. Assume a 1 minute drainage period unless conditions permit a 2 minute drainage period. Drainage period is the actual time it takes to completely drain the fixture. Blank GPM divided by blank drainage period equals blank GPM total actual drainage load 1 or 2 minutes flow rate.